All right, I'm going to show you the difference between working on a fluent object and a non-fluent object. So what I mean by that is uh, a cube, a default cube, or even just a mesh that you just added, doesn't have to be a cube, is not a fluent object. But it is an object and fluent can work on it. Over on the right here, we're going to do create, and we're going to... Uh, Let's see here. Let's let's try that again. We're going to create, and we're going to create our own cube over here. Hold Control to get a cube, and scale it up. And that is a fluent object. Now we can do a first bevel. We can do a second bevel. fluid object. This over here, oh, let's right click and, and finish that. This here, if we go into edit mode, and we, we bevel it. Okay, this is a, uh, a non-fluent object and this is a fluent object. Let me turn on the screencast keys here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So the difference is, let's say on a, on a fluent object, you've got over here, you've got all these modifiers that make it a fluent object. So if you were to do something like a cut, and um, I mean a uh, an inset, and you were to go here and do an inset like that, and then you would go to the second bevel, and that's not right. Let's just right click and finish that. Okay, now let's. Uh, Was right. Uh, let's. Uh, okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, so now I've got the object. So what I can do <clears throat> is I can edit it, and I can go to the second bevel, and I can hit, for example, to change the profile from round to straight. Just hit C, and there we have it. We have uh, a straight uh, profile. And so this is something you can do with a fluent object. And then you might want to put a keypad on here, some keys or, or something else. But now if you try to do that in a non-fluent object, let's uh, do inset, bring down here. And right click to finish it. Okay, if you select this now and you hit F and edit, there would be edit. Okay, there would be nothing to edit because this is not a fluent object. This is a Boolean. And you can edit that. Um, you can you can change the bevel, the first, second, the thickness. Um, like here's the inset thickness. But you cannot change this bevel. The reason is this bevel was done originally to the the object that was not a fluent object. The reason you can do a bevel over here and change this bevel here is because when you uh, uh, did an inset here you've created an, a sep separate object here and you can select that 
obviously this is a separate object and if you look over here in the modifier panel you've got all these modifiers and what it was is it was all the modifiers that were on the fluent cube they were transferred over to this new object and then you altered this new object you can't do that with an object that is not a fluent object because there is not a bunch of modifiers on this object and they're not going to transfer over so hopefully that explains the difference between a fluent object a fluent object and a non-fluent object